Next, I'd like to show you an application running on a Windows Phone. And it's called A to B. And the A to B application, as you may have guessed, uh, routes you from, uh, well, from A to B. So the application starts up and it determines our current location using the GPS of the device. Um, the Windows Phone API accesses uh, our street map data and we can choose a new destination and there's a few ways in which we can do this. We can of course type in an address, we can go to our recent uh, addresses or searches or choose from our favorites. So let's, uh, let's go to the Palm Springs Tramway which um, those of you visiting Palm Springs, um, this is a very popular tourist destination. So what the API is doing now is it's uh, going out and calling our routing services and it's determining the um, most optimal route from point A to point B. Now, this is great, but how about once I'm in the car? I need to know where I'm going. So once I'm in the car, the application will actually give me turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Now, of course, this is the part of the demo that we're simulating because we're obviously not in the car. Um, I get uh, information like ETA, I've got uh, our destination in miles, as well as uh, a distance to our next, uh, our next waypoint, which in this case, uh, in, the, uh, in the distance looks like it's a left turn. Uh, also what's going on here is we're doing a, um, a perspective transformation to give this data almost a two and a half or, or a 3D look. Okay, excellent application, Windows Phone API, uh, using routing, using the device's GPS, and, uh, and, and, and really useful. Uh, this application is in the Windows Marketplace, so for those of you who have uh, uh, Windows Phone devices, uh, feel free to go ahead and download it, and, uh, and we'll, see you, uh, we'll see you at the tram.